Hello and welcome to Practical IT. I'm Jeremy, your host, and today we are taking a look at MoodleBox, which is a custom image for the Raspberry Pi that packages Raspbian Lite with the Moodle open source learning platform. Let's move over and get started with our fresh image on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, everybody, so here's the acid test. I'm going to apply power to the Pi, and hopefully this image went on the card correctly and gives us something to work with. We've got video, so that's already a good sign. So this will take a couple of minutes to boot up, I'm sure, but momentarily we will have something a little more interesting than a rainbow screen for all of you to look at. And I suppose I should connect the network cable, which will make things a little bit easier. Okay, so it is reporting that our IP address is 172.16.74.200. So I'm going to hopefully bring up the browser here in a moment. See where we can go from here. So 172.16.74.200. And it's not cooperating. Okay. So our screen is just a little distorted but we can see that we have MoodleBox running. Uh, we will see what we can do here. MoodleBox version 3.6, and it was released today on the 12th of February, 2020. And it has an IP on the wireless side as well. Okay, so after a little digging in, I found out that the way MoodleBox is set up by default, it only works with a wireless network where the Raspberry Pi is providing the DHCP server. So you don't have to be connected to the internet. This can both be a blessing and a curse. So if you're on a Mac and likely on Linux, you will want to check and make sure you don't have any hard-coded DNS and then connect to the Moodle box SSID with the password of Moodle box, all lowercase. So once you get to the server, we can log in with Moodle box and the password is Moodle box uppercase M four dollar sign and that will get us logged in to the default Moodle box admin area. So from here you can start in and do your configuration of MoodleBox. But the nice thing about this is that if you are needing to run a class in a remote area 
an area with no internet access or shoddy internet access or in the case where you are dealing with a prison library or other places where somebody might be precluded in some way from being on the internet either by a court order or parole order or something along that line then you can set up standalone courses where they don't have to have access to the internet because everything is self-contained on the Moodle box. So that is our first look at Moodle box. I will likely do another video on this and go into some of the configuration of it. But for the first video, I just wanted to get it installed and make sure that we had a way to get connected to it. I will be going through their documentation in a little more detail and seeing if there is a way that this could be reconfigured so that you can use internet resources in your courses hosted on Moodlebox. But it may come down to being easier to just grab the light version of Raspbian or grabbing a an Ubuntu server image for the Raspberry Pi and then building up a custom Moodle install in that way. And that, my viewers, brings us to the end of another practical IT video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up subscribe and click that bell icon for notifications of new videos. Now that I've got this capture card, I am hoping to keep the frequency of the videos coming out at a little bit more of a rapid pace than what I have in the past. So until next time, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.